name on your paper. First thing. Here we go, let's read those directions. Solve. Use five group rows and cross out to show your work. Number one. Mike has 10 cookies on a plate and three cookies in a box. He eats nine cookies from the plate. How many cookies are left? So there's 10 cookies on the plate, three cookies in the box. He eats nine cookies. So that sounds an awful, like, awful lot like there's some being taken away. So we're going to be minusing, right? Here's where it shows the 10 cookies on the plate. Notice how they have the five group rows to show the 10. And then for the three, they did dark circles to show cookies in a box. So now he eats nine cookies from the plate. So we're gonna cross off nine very quickly. Nice and easy to do when they're in a nice straight row like that. So Mike has blank cookies left. Well, he has these three plus the one still on the plate, so that makes four cookies left. Number two. Fran has 10 crayons in a box and five crayons on the desk. Fran lends Bob nine crayons from the box. How many crayons does Fran have to use? So there's 10 crayons in a box. We'll put the 10 here. There's five crayons on the desk. We'll put that here. 10 and five make 15, so that makes sense. Fran lends Bob nine crayons from the box. So if she's lending some crayons to someone else, that means she's giving them away. That means we're taking away that subtraction. Let's go ahead and do our 10 in five group rows. And the five will do darker circles. So if Fran lends Bob nine crayons, we have to quickly be able to show that we're taking nine away. So Fran has blank crayons to use. Go ahead and write in how many Fran's Fran still has. Number three. Ten ducks are in the pond and seven ducks are on the land. Nine of the ducks in the pond are babies and all the rest of the ducks are adults. How many adult ducks are there? Let's circle that important information. There's 10 ducks in the pond, seven ducks are on the land. So that looks like 10 and seven go there. This one's four in the pond, this one's on land. Now we need to be able to add those up to show how many ducks there are total. Nine of the ducks in the pond are babies. So we'll circle that, we'll underline babies. That means we're gonna have to take away the babies to find out how many adults there are. Let's go ahead and draw the 10 and the seven.
probably should have put a little more space in there, but I didn't. So out of the ducks in the pond, nine of the ducks are babies. So we have to take away the babies in order to find out how many adults there are. Go ahead and write in, there are blank adult ducks. Write the answer in right here. I'm going to flip it over to the other side. If you're not ready yet, remember you can always pause it and keep going when you're ready. With a partner, Mrs. Scope gets to be the partner because we're doing it on a recording. Create your own stories to match and solve the number sentences. Make a number bond to show the whole as 10 and some ones. Draw five group rows to match your story. Write the complete number sentence on the line. So it looks like we have 16 minus 9 equals blank. Now in order to do that and put it into our number bond, it wants a 10 and some 1's. This first number right here is going to be the number we break up into 10's and 1's. So 16 is made up of 10 and how many 1's? 6, right? And then that makes the 16. So here's the story. Are you ready? My son Jackson loves Pokemon cards. So I'm going to do Pokemon cards. Jackson took 10 cards to school and left 6 Pokemon cards at home. He lost 9 at school. So how many cards does he have left? So he had 16 cards all together, right? The 10 he took to school, the 6 he had at home, that makes 16 Pokemon cards all together. Here's my 10, or his 10. Here are the 6 he still left at home. So this 16 shows that we have 16 Pokemon cards, right? But he lost 9 at school. Guess he probably shouldn't have brought them to school, huh? So now it says write the complete number sentence on the line. So we're going to write the answer here, and then we're going to write the whole thing out down here. So, how many Pokemon cards does he still have? Well, he has these six and this one more. So that makes seven, right? So we're going to write 16 minus 9 equals 7. All right, let's make an up, up another story with 12 minus 9 equals blank. Well, remember, we want to break this 12 up into 10s and some 1s. So we want a 10. And then how many 1s and 12? Two more. I'm going to go ahead and draw it out. Alright, here's my own story. We went to McDonald's and ordered 12 chicken nuggets. My son took 10 nuggets 
nuts and my daughter took two. My son could only eat nine. How many nuggets were not eaten by my son? Okay, so here's the ones that Jackson took, my son. Here's the one my daughter took. But my son could only eat nine. So how many nuggets did he not eat? Write the answer here. And then write the whole number sentence down here. Okay, this one is 19 minus 9 equals blank. We're going to take that first number and break it up into some tens and ones. Nineteen is made up of one ten and nine ones. Here's this, well, let's draw it out first. There's my 10. There's my 9. Here's my story. We had 10 library books in the classroom to return to the library. Nine books were in backpacks still. The librarian collected the books in backpacks. How many books still need to be returned? Now this one's a little trickier. We had 10 library books in the classroom. Nine books still in backpacks. The librarian collected the books in the backpacks. Now, if this is 19 minus 9, would we want to take away the 9 from 10, or could we just take away these 9? I think it would be much faster and easier to just take away that 9. So we can see real quick how many we have left, right? So 19 minus 9 equals how many left? Go ahead and write the answer in here, and then rewrite the complete number sentence down here. When you're done, put it in the done tub. If you don't get enough time to finish, put it in the to-be-finished tray.